Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Dan the Man Robinson, and this is your KWHS News. <sighs> November college visits continue this week when UCCS visits us tomorrow. We have a new visit scheduled for after Thanksgiving break. On November 27th, the reps from Otero Junior College will be here. And then on the 29th of November, the Adams State reps will be here. Seniors, remember, the deadline to sign up for the PPCC application day on December 4th is Friday, November 30th. The reps from the Universal Technical Institute kick off our December visits on the 6th. Students, if you are interested in learning about becoming a technician in automotive, including NASCAR, diesel, marine, or motorcycle industries, this is the visit for you to attend. Attention freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. Whitefield High School is proud to present the tour of the mill on Tuesday, December 11th from 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. This tour will introduce students to the mill. Manufacturing Industry Learning Lab, where you take part in the programs such as woods manufacturing, cabinet finishing, and construction. There are a limited number of seats, and you must sign up and turn in a permission slip in the counseling center before December 4th. This is an opportunity to learn a trade and become employable right after high school. In fact, this year, Mill students will be building a house. Ladies, if you have been wondering if this program was for you, you should sign up for the tour and come check it out. The Mill strongly encourages ladies to join their program and start honing your skills. Explore great career possibilities at the Mill. Remember, college visits happen during advisory and at lunch, so be sure to pick up your pass from the Counseling Center. And if you miss any of these dates, you can always check out the Counseling Center calendar or go to their website. Seniors. Herb Jones will be here again this Friday, so you can place your order for your cap and gown, announcements, and class rings. Remember, all orders must be in by Thanksgiving. You can also order your items online by the deadline. One more note for seniors. The deadline for the Daniel Scholarship is November 29th at 4 p.m. If you need information, please visit the Counseling Center website or see Mr. Walker. Don't miss out on the scholarship opportunity. And now, we're heading to the sports desk for our Gladiator Sports Update with Kieran Doolittle. Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Kieran Doolittle, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Ladies, remember WHS is piloting a ladies wrestling team, and Coach Walker needs you to join the team. This season will be the first of two pilot years for our girls only wrestling team. We know many of you are interested in wrestling, so please make your way to Coach Walker's office in the Counseling Center to let him know you want to be a wrestling pioneer. Even though practices are already underway, you can still check in with Coach Walker. Glad we would like to offer our viewers an apology. Although Chassa has approved two other sports to pilot this school year, at this time, WHS has no plans in place to bring either of those here. We apologize for getting some of you all excited prematurely, but appreciate that you paid attention enough to ask about it. If this changes, we will be sure to keep you posted on any new information. In forensics news, the team returned from the terror invite on Saturday with Casey Ringer as a third place finisher in, the in U.S. extemporaneous speaking. Two claps and a whoosh. Whoosh. The team also competed in a Congress meet at Fountain Fort Carson yesterday, and here are those results. The team continues their season this Saturday with the varsity tournament at Lewis Palmer High School. We will have those results when we return from Thanksgiving break. Winter season sports practices began on Monday. Be sure to check in with your coaches for practice times and locations. Congratulations to Shay's team for winning the Gents Volleyball Tournament and for defeating the Lady Glads Volleyball Team in a shocker of finale on Friday. The two teams battled closely, coming to blows by a mere two points, but in the end, Shay's team prevailed. If Shay's team is this good this year, imagine what they'll do next year. Glads, if you're in the market for some Gladiator gear for Christmas, check out the huge sale at the school store. Most of the items are 20 to 80% off, but be warned, these prices are only good while supplies last. Check out the pink flyers on campus for store hours. And finally, this Friday, Mr. Damon will talk about exercise, so stay tuned for that bit of health information. That's it for your Wednesday Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Kieran Doolittle. Now back to Moose and Daniel for more news. Thanks for keeping us posted, Kieran. Auditions for Little Women will continue today after school in the WHS Auditorium. If you have any questions or need some details, see Ms. Caps or Mr. Larson. Hey, Glads! 31 of you still need to turn in your federal aid forms. That's right, we counted. 31. What are you waiting for? Please return your form to your first hour teacher or directly to the attendance office. If you need a new form, stop by the attendance office to pick up a copy. And now, here's the lunch crew with our lunch menu for today and Thursday. Take it away, Seth. Boy! 
What for what? I'm hungry. Happy Wednesday, everybody! Wednesday! Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, if you have outstanding lunch charges in the cafeteria, please pay those in person with Miss Betsy or go online to add money to your account. If you have a hankering for Chinese food, check out the NJROTC fundraiser this Friday at Panda Express on Highway 8587. Get your flyer from NJROTC Cadets, then bring it with you when you purchase your meal on Friday. A portion of your cost will support our NJROTC program. While on the subject of fundraisers, our senior council is having a hat day this Friday. You can purchase your wristbands for $1 in the main lobby on Thursday morning, Thursday afternoon, and Friday morning before school. Glad. As the semester starts winding down, your grades might also be taking a downward turn. Remember, NHS students are here to help you finish strong. Tutoring sessions happen every Thursday in the library. All you need to do is stop by the library to sign up for an appointment and pick up your pass. NHS students can help you with writing papers, studying for tests, or just beefing up your grades before the semester ends. Yearbook prices go up at the end of this month, but don't worry. You still have time to take advantage of the $55 price by going to the business office or online at yearbookforever.com to order your book before the end of this month. Save yourself some money papers and order your book this week. The Harvest of Giving Food Drive continues through Friday. Remember, your donations will be used by the 180 Club for their annual holiday food drive. So please, be generous. Some items you might consider donating include soups, ramen, peanut butter and jelly, crackers, tuna, mac and cheese, and of course typical holiday food like boxed potatoes, veggies, gravy, or desserts. Just so you know, all these donations will be going to families of students right here in our school. Bring your donations to Miss Melton in room 103 and put them in your class box so you can earn Charlie Cup points. And finally, if you have lost your items on campus, please check in with Mrs. McAdoo or Ms. Grandizio in the principal's office this week. All items in the lost and found area will be donated after Thanksgiving break. So check it out. Chances are, if you lost it, someone found it. That's it for our Wednesday edition, Glads. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Dan the Man Robinson, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great week.